Hi everyone. So in this particular video, we'll be learning something called as expenses associated with your activities. Like see what happens is every activity we assign the resources called as labor, then your material as well as your plant and machinery. This is LMP labor, material, and plant and machinery. But your activities will definitely have some additional cost apart from your LMP, which can be your overheads. Like for example, you can have some water and power. Then apart from that, you can have some rental expenses, some welfare expensive expenses. Then uh, you can have some, uh, let's say, uh, your maintenance and all these things also you can have. So these are called as IDC cost, indirect cost, or also called as overheads. So how to take care of these costs? So you can add these costs for the respective activities using an option in your detailed view, which is called as expenses. So right now, your detailed view is open and your uh, activities are open. So you see we have scheduled three activities like first two activities have got completed and third activity is in progress. So let us say for first activity now you can see that your actual cost is coming as $42,000, which is calculated based on your resources cost of LMP. If you go to the resources and if you see the actual cost because of uh, Ashish Pandey, then Mason, then Ram Chaudhary and Sham Madhavan, then you add this actual cost, it will come to 42,000. But I want to add one more cost related to, let us say water and power or something else, then how to add it? You just click on this activity, go to expenses in the activity uh, details tab. If this expenses, column is not visible, you can right click, you can customize the activity details and you can move it here. But for us, it is visible. So now you can add the expense. So let us say your water and power is also being consumed. Then you have to assign the cost account. What is cost account? Cost account is nothing but your cost codes. At site, what happens is several items get booked under some predefined cost code like for water and power they will have some cost code like IDC 005 similarly for some other thing like for welfare expenses it will have some cost account called IDC 007 okay so these cost account you'll have to create so how to create the cost account you can go to enterprise you can go to cost accounts and you can create it like for example uh, let us say we will create IDC IDC 005 so let us say this is your water and power. Okay, so we have created it. We can close this. We can choose the cost account now, which is your water and power. We can assign this. And what is the category of this expense? So we can choose the category that it is, let's say facilities. So we will click on facilities. You can also add your own desired expense categories by going to admin categories and choosing the expense, cat expense categories here. Some predefined categories are available, but if you want to add something else, you can add from this add button. So uh, what is the accrual type, whether it will come at the start of the activity or end of the activity, or it will be uniform, we will say, because it will go throughout the activity. So what is the budgeted cost? Let us say you have budgeted that it will take, let us say $1,000. What is the actual cost? So the actual cost, let us say, is $2,000. You have exceeded the cost. And what is the remaining cost? So remaining cost is, let us say, zero. So now you see this 42,000 has changed to 44,000. And this budgeted cost is changed from 26,000 to 27,000 because we have increased this expenses. Remaining cost is zero. So the remaining cost will not change. Completion cost is also 2000. So all the parameters with respect to this uh, earned value will now get changed. So this is how you can add the expense. Suppose if you want to add some traveling expense now, so you can add the traveling expense also. You can choose the cost account. Maybe you can create one more cost account. You can choose the expense category, which will be your travel. And you can update your budget cost, actual cost and all, and it will get reflected in the activity in the main menu. So this is how you can add your expenses as well as create your cost account. So that's all for the video. Thank you, everyone.